Yes, it is relevant. These are not. What the is? What is? What is? Well, your question. Your your question was quite specific. Yes. Is it? Is it money related? Yes. Exactly. So that is relevant. The bigger the house, the the yes. the, the, the bigger the bobbies is will the turn up. Is the response response going to be different in a fifty million pound house in Belgravia compared w- w- with an eighty thousand yes. pound house in Darlington? Yes, it is. To start to start with. Why? If the all right, these people aren't the nicest of people. Oh, when well, you don't, you don't know that. But hang on, James. I am. I'm just saying you don't know that. You weren't there. You haven't met them. They might be lovely. Well, these are the kind of people that when the police put ladders up, when the police started to go up the ladders, they kicked the ladders down. There's a clue. Well, yes, not really. Nice they've they occupied are. a house and they're trying to stop people getting into it. I think they're, they're not as nasty as the average burglar or the average uh, you know, drug-addicted mugger, are they? I'm not suggesting they are, but if I'm halfway up a ladder... Well, you're introducing questions of nastiness. You're introducing questions of nastiness, Richard. I, 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 they didn't do anything apart from kicking a ladder that no one was necessarily compelled to climb up anyway. And the, the list of criminals in no. this country who I feel most of my listeners would want the police to be dealing with, I don't know that they'd make the top million. You're, I think you're missing the point here. The, these Quite possibly, the Richard, people. yes. James, you're doing what you castigate others are doing. You're talking over me while I'm talking over you. Uh, please, these people have a propensity, and you know they do. To no, go no, I am going to talk over you again. You can't make generalisations. Everyone is equal before the law. You're a former officer. You should know that. And you've come on the of radio programme, Richard, without realising it, to tell me that people aren't equal before the law. It's determined by the value of the house that you own. You, you've already told me no, that. No, good, no. good luck wriggling you, off that you hook. Let me finish. Well, go on then. Finish. Carry on. Finish away. Finish. But don't, stop making judgments about people that you have never met and have no knowledge of, please. No, of course I don't know their names and addresses or their CRO you, numbers. You don't know their character or their personality, their intentions no. or their motives. No. So I'll tell you, they were there to reclaim the house on behalf of Ukrainian refugees. You've already told me that the value of the house determines the quality of the policing that a citizen in this country can expect. So expand and justify that for us. Good. Can I get a word in sideways with you, please, James? If you stop complaining about the nature of my approach to talking to you, you'd have already had at least four more minutes to put forward your defence of police according to wealth of citizens. So try again. As soon as the first police officers turned turned up, they tried to gain access and were refused, from what I can gather. Why did they turn up so quickly? Because they may well have been around the corner. See, this is another fallacy put around by the press. It's a simple but question. Why did they turn up so quickly? Last time I got burgled, it took a day and a half for anyone to come round. No, 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 that, that's just not correct. The last <laughs> I time was, you were, hang on, I was James, there. <laughs> James, last Richard. time you were burgled and the... Uh, the and you phoned the police and said, I have been burgled, you used the past tense. No, I didn't. I, I said been. they've literally just climbed out of my window. I can hear the car in the street outside. Please come quickly. I've got a child upstairs. And I suspect that they saturated the area very quickly. No, I told you, they Your came house... around a day and a half later. No, they and also, around. this house was empty. James, there's a difference between being burgled and has been burgled. This house was One's empty. And this, there was no one in threat. it. There was no one in it. No, I'm just correcting something you said a minute ago. One's a direct threat now, one is past tense. They, they were, I think they were downstairs when I rang. Well, a minute ago, they were out the window when you rang. Well, so the window I, was I wide open. When I came downstairs, the car had been started outside and the window was wide open, so they Believe could easily me, have been downstairs somebody, when I rang. Believe me, James. If somebody Anyway, back to, to why, if my house had been worth more money, I'd have got a better police response, Richard. You did get a pro- pro- you, I'm quite sure you got an appropriate police response. They were not so ten your, vans your parked outside and people putting ladders interest. on the window. Why did you tell me when you came on the radio that it was quite correct for the value of the house to determine the quality of the response? Because if these are the okay, I'll use the word if if these are the people that have a propensity to go in and trash the place and burn it down, if they take out a row of ten of these houses, they've done half a billion pounds worth of damage. But who, who's and you have a duty of care? So to not just the where's the threshold the then? Ladder. Where's the threshold? If, if how much does my house have to be worth in order for police officers like you? to think it's worth bombing around there at 100 miles an what hour. What you're actually ca- castigating is the fact that the police did turn up and, and did a good response. That you no, what I'm asking is why don't, why don't poor people get that level of policing? Well, I don't think you come under that category, but poor people do. Oh, OK. So now, right? now you're claiming that someone poor being they robbed, do. the £80,000 house in Darlington that you used as your own example when you came on the radio would expect the same level of police response if it was a victim of a crime. If they're being burgled You're contradicting now, yourself yes, now, pal. I'm do you not. need your notebook? No, James, if they're being burgled now, use the word okay, now. Okay, let's find out. Will. Let's find yeah. out. Let's find, if I can find, I'll tell you what, put, put your money on the table. If I can find one person listening to this programme now who reported a burglary in process and got anything like the response that we saw on our screens yesterday, I'll give you the money myself. How much do you want to bet? 
And can they be... Ju- ten vans. Ten vans. How much do you want to bet? No, no, James, you're being silly now. And that's unlike uh, you. I, I, I'm really not. You're, you're telling me that I'm wrong. I'm telling you that I'm right. How are we going to prove it? We just find lots and lots of people who reported crimes from yeah. houses that weren't worth £50 million and yeah. got an identical response to the one we all saw and on our screens can yesterday. Phone, can't they? We know that. They phone in. Well, you go and find someone then. There's, there's lots of people. You go and find someone then. Get someone from your days on the force. Well, I, I know for a fact that. Well, that's it, easy it, then. Bring them back and I'll give you a tenner. I haven't finished talking. You're talking over me again, James. I've bored of you it, now. 